Okay, so I received uh, my toilet. It's a tiny from Severet. Um, I bought it on Amazon. Arrived today in good conditions. Nicely packed. Just a quick um, observ observations when I received it today. Um, not installed yet, not used it yet, so don't worry when I open the lid, there's nothing in there. Um, it's uh, quite solid, a bit on the heavy side for what it is, but um, I think it's not gonna break when uh, using it. So um, the way it works, well, it's a, um, it's a dry toilet. Um, so kind of a poo in a bag and pee in a bottle type of uh, toilet. Uh, when you sit on it, a bit difficult to demonstrate, but these flaps move out of the way and you got a, a bucket with a plastic liner that you can uh, remove easily, I'll show that, and the uh, liquid goes this way, so it's quite straightforward. It's quite nice material, not too cheap. Um, so yeah, to empty it also, um, you remove this one, that might require to be uh, emptied every other day, uh, apparently as they say. Um, quite simple, I don't think this is gonna leak. Um, looking at this uh, grey pipe goes uh, just here. And there's a hole and that's it. So not a big deal here. Just be sure that it sits properly. It's not always super clear. Especially this one actually gave me some troubles initially. So this flap lifts up and the uh, bucket comes out. That's what it is. Uh, you remove this little lid and uh, you close the bag, it's uh, compostable, uh, and you put it away. Um, what I can say, oh yeah, of course, um, well of course, there's a fan in this toilet so that you can pipe uh, the bad smell out of the way, out of the van, um, which is quite necessary, I would think. Um, so, and the fan is constantly working, it should not consume much power, not a big deal. Um, it's coming out of the back here, let me see if I can show that. So, here actually, uh, they supply a little adapter, so it will be this way. And uh, there's also a piece of tube that you can connect to that. Uh, I would have to redesign that a bit because uh, that's too close to the floor to sit in the shower. Uh, the shower pan interferes with that. So uh, I knew that before I bought it. Uh, I'll probably or lift the toilet a bit, which is not an issue, or maybe just 3D print uh, an adapter because there is enough space here maybe kind of a rectangular ones that come here and then out of the shower this way so yeah the only comment I can make about this so far is that yeah these flaps if you look at the reviews on Amazon people are not so happy with it sometimes they remain cl um, closed and you just pull on them not great uh, I'm not sure this bits over engineered honestly uh, I'll probably just 3D print the cover here, remove the flap, and then you go, you remove the cover before you do your business and you close it back. So that's my update for today.